Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. My name is Phil and I've lived aboard my narrowboat on the canal system for over 30 years. I share my home with my two cats, Bushka and Midge, and we spend our days travelling around the canal system and making videos. We're on the Trenton Mersey Canal and we're setting off close to Bridge 55, which is near Kings Bromley. And in this video, I boat as far as Fradley Junction, where I then turn on to the Coventry Canal. So before we go any farther, let's have a look at the map. This trip begins at the yellow marker at the top left of the map and finishes at the yellow marker over on the right. On the way we go through a long stretch of mostly wooded canal, so leaves are going to be a bit of a problem, and then I have to go through three locks before turning on to the Coventry Canal. This is an early morning cruise. It's pretty cold. There was quite a frost last night. Uh, there was ice on the solar panels this morning, but it's not too bad. Um, the main problem is going to be leaves in the canal and they get caught up on the prop and I'm constantly having to like put the engine into reverse to clear them off the prop. Um, this happens a lot on this trip. I'm reaching down for the gear lever. I've got to keep putting the engine briefly into reverse and then back into forward gear again to shake the leaves off the propeller. I'm having to do that a lot because now we're heading into a very long wooded stretch of canal and there's going to be a lot of leaves. At this time of year in some places it can be almost impossible to move because of the sheer amount of leaves in the canal. You just don't make any forward progress at all. You're just continually clogged up with leaves.
I spy up ahead there's a big log floating in the canal. Better try and miss that. I don't want that wrapped around the propeller. I could do all sorts of damage. Just up ahead is the first lock of the day. That's called Wood End Lock. Not a very deep one.
There were some people walking nearby and they offered to close the gates for me, so that makes life a little bit easier. The leaves in the water on this side of the lock were really bad. When the prop gets fouled with leaves, you not only lose all forward movement, but you lose all your steering as well. So it's a bit of a nuisance. It's really quite lovely through here, which makes what comes next even more upsetting. A huge swathe of trees either side of the canal have all been cut down to make room for the new HS2 railway, which is, I presume is going to cross the canal at this point. It's really sad to see. Progress, they call it. Well, I don't know about that. That's very sad to see, and it's going to change this part of the canal forever. We're just coming up to a moored boat with a really lovely sounding engine.
And now up ahead is the second block of the day. There was no help on this lock so I had to stop and close the gates. And off we go again, and immediately we're coming up to another lock. Normally, in the summer, um, there will be volunteer lock keepers on these locks to help you through, but after November I think they're generally off duty. At least I didn't see any today.
Fradley Junction is up ahead and here we also have a lot of permanently moored boats. This area gets extremely busy and in the peak season. Uh, quite a bit of canal rage takes place I think. I think it's mainly down to confusion. You, when you're boating through here you don't know if a boat is moored up or whether it's queuing for the lock. Arguments and shouting does happen sometimes. This is Fradley Junction. The Trenton Mersey Canal carries straight on, but if you take a sharp right turn here, you go on to the Coventry Canal. Over to the left is the Swan. It's a very famous pub. And this is where I get menaced by a wasp. Just as I'm making the turn, this wasp gets right in my face and won't go away. I nearly knocked my glasses off into the canal. But at least it didn't sting me. The beginning of the Coventry Canal is blocked by a swing bridge, but that's very easy to operate. It swings really easily. Remember to close it though because it leads to someone's house. On the other side of the swing bridge are there some water points, and if you want the other boater's facilities, well they're just a little bit farther on down the Trenton Mersey Canal. You can easily walk there. If you've got a trolley, you can take your rubbish or your LSAN down to the rubbish disposal place. Here's a close-up map of the area. Just after the water points here, there are some visitor moorings, so that's what I do. I stop, get water, and then moor up on the visitor moorings. Then, of course, I let the cats out. Anyway, this I think that'll conclude our video for today, so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>